all right guys so welcome to this video in this video i'm gonna update my uh, world machine tutorial on how to build massive worlds because i've got a lot of complaints that i'm using older version of world machine and that i'm using the pro version with the tiling option right now i'm going to show you how you can make the same world uh, with newer world machine and without using the tiling option so let's just start the first thing is i'm going to open this world machine and I'm going to show you the version that I have. Right now I have the World Machine Professional built 4027. All right. So this is my version. And this is a pretty standard uh, opening for uh, a new scene. And I have Advanced Prelim, Curves, Erosion. They're connected to Quick Texture, Scene View, Bitmap and Height Output. And those are the standards when you create a new project. So I'm not uh, doing anything funky here and uh, I'm not going to create anything complex here. I'm just going to show you how you can import different terrains into Unreal. So what I did is I just played a little bit with the settings of the Advanced Perlin. I just played with some of those settings. I played with the curves. I've created a little shape of the curve over here because I want to have uh, a deep narrow uh, hole over there and I've played a little bit with the erosion just to create this uh, kind of interesting erosion uh, effect over here like deep curves all right so nothing funky here and when I go into my scene view in the 3d view I just click here and you can see your wall poly and wall texture uh, 3d mesh the terrain that uh, I've created and in order to build it you need to click this green button build the world and we're gonna wait uh, maybe 20 seconds uh, to build the world I'm just showing you how uh, is the standard workflow in world machine and I'm not just uh, creating any kind of uh, funky world I'm just creating some simple scene in order to show you how you can import it into the new Unreal Engine 5 uh, and don't use the tile build option of course if you don't use the tile build option you can still use uh, world partition for your 3D elements that you're going to scatter all across your level. So right now my scene is ready and we get a lot of details over here. And it looks pretty interesting and pretty nice with those deep curves over here. And that's what I like about it. So let's go to my uh, device window over here. Here is your graph. And let me show you what I will do. Uh, in order to get this uh, into Unreal Engine. So I have here a bitmap output which is connected to the quick texture. So this will export uh, the texture, but I'm not going to use that because I have uh, an auto material that I've already used in my previous video. I'm just gonna delete it. And for the height out output, I'm just gonna double click and I'm gonna set up a folder. I've already set up a folder at my desktop called world. I'm going to click save. And the important thing is to use 16 bit row format. This is uh, perfect for Unreal. All right. The next thing that you need to set up is you need to go over here at the project settings. I've set up four kilometers by four kilometers and the width and breadth uh, will be eight by eight. Uh, by default, it is power of two but you need to set it up to Unreal Engine 4 landscape. It still doesn't have the Unreal Engine 5 landscape settings. So I'm just going to use the Unreal Engine 4 landscape and I'm going to set it up to uh, 2017. All right. So those are the setup that I need uh, to get over here. I'm going to click OK. And now how I can get my height map out of uh, World Machine. I'm just going to double click here and just click here right to disk. I'm going to write to disk successful and here in my folder i'm gonna have new project height out output let's go back to unreal here i have a clean scene from a file new i just select the basic scene and deleted the floor that's it nothing fancy just to have the directional light exponential height fork and the other settings and what i need to do is i'm gonna go to my landscape here at the create new I'm going to choose my material. So I'm using MW Auto Material, which is a paid asset from Unreal Engine Marketplace, but it saves a lot of time. And I have two materials over here, snowy and this uh, desert. I'm going to use the snow one and drag it over here. So this will be my default material for the, for the terrain. 
I'm going to go here at the import from file and I'm going to select the three dots and I'm going to navigate to my folder, select the new project height output. I'm going to click OK. And right now I have this mesh and let me show you the settings. Here you need to see uh, 2017 by 2017, which means that it will work uh, perfectly. So I'm going to select 63 by 63 because this is the resolution that I set up. And for example, if you uh, select 127 and import it, let me just show you what uh, artifacts will appear. You can see your terrain over here and here will be a flat ground, uh, which is uh, not accurate because our terrain was not built for uh, this type of resolution. So I'm going to control Z. I'm going to select 63 by 63, two sections. I'm going to click import. I'm going to wait. And I'm going to have my terrain over here. Let me just turn off uh, the exponential height fog. All right, I have my terrain over here looking pretty good. And one thing that I didn't mention in my previous video. All right, the terrain is pretty awesome, guys. I like it. Pretty good. Uh, so the one thing that I didn't mention in my previous video is, of course, you can sculpt on this terrain. So. For example, let me just simulate a workflow. You create basic terrain over here, uh, something that you like, but you need to tweak it up in Unreal Engine. Of course, you can get over here and start tweaking it up with the brush, building maybe something like this. And when you use an auto material, it's gonna automatically add uh, the texture based on the height that you are doing with the brush. So if I want to build something like this, if I want, uh, for example, let's say, uh, move this ground a little bit down, something like this, you can create whatever you like and paint it over. All right, guys. So this is pretty important to know that when you put uh, a terrain from World Machine, whatever your graph over here, of course, you can use a lot of stuff over here. Those are the tools that you can use, generators, outputs, combiner, filters, uh, nature stuff uh, that simulate nature, nature effects. You can use materials, etc. But the important thing is that you can still scope this. And when I hit play, so you have all your sculpted things inside the terrain. And they're working pretty good. If I can get close here, see how the height uh, from the brush works with my uh, auto material. So this is pretty much how you can export your uh, world machine uh, design map, import it in into Unreal Engine. Uh, just keep in mind to uh, match the resolutions here. You can, of course, increase the resolution. You can increase the kilometers in the dimensions. And from the height output, double click 16 bit row right to disk. And here you can connect and and make some crazy uh, terrain. But of course, when you import it over here, you can use all the tools in order to manipulate and fix your terrain. If you have some areas that you want to, to tweak or to, mod to model, you can do that, no problem. All right, guys. So this is pretty much about this video. Uh, I wanted to keep it short and show you how you can do this with the new world machine and how you can uh, easily integrate the terrain and start working with it. Thank you guys for watching.